<clears throat> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. I'm here talking about now uh, NBA news, uploading NFL news with all the injury updates and shit. So if you haven't watched that, go watch that. But now I'm going to talk about some NBA news here. So just to get my NBA news video out of the way today while the NFL games are on right now when I'm watching. The only individual recap I'll do for today's NFL games are Ravens Lions. And then I'll do after uh, the 425 games in around 7 or so, I'll do uh, just a full NFL recap for those games. But I will do a individual recap for Ravens Lions. But yeah, all right, let's get to the NBA. So, apparently, uh, Amazon, they're aspiring to launch a NBA feature uh, similar to Thursday Night Football, and it's eyeing exclusive streaming of NBA games on Tuesdays or Thursdays. So, yeah, um, apparently, um, they're aspiring to launch a feature similar to what they have on Amazon Prime right now, the Thursday Night Football games they have. I'm just out, just out of curiosity, like, is all the Thursday night games going to be really horrible? Like it is in the NFL? So, like, every Thursday night we can look forward to watching, oh, Hornets Pacers, the Rockets Trailblazers. Thursday night games are just kind of trash every week, to be honest. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, I mean, Jaguar Saints was a good one. I knew that would be a solid game. But the other ones, like, Broncos Chiefs, um, Bears Commanders. Uh, Lions Packers was a blowout for the most part. Giants 49ers. Like, I, I have the question. My question is, are they just gonna have these like bum ass teams play, or are they actually gonna have like really good teams on here? I mean, Amazon would make it so much easier to watch games. Like everyone has Amazon Prime, so that's Prime runs great. Anybody, anyone can watch Thursday Night Football with Twitch. You don't even need Prime if you don't want to watch Amazon Prime. But anybody can get. But it, it makes it easier to watch games. So Amazon Prime, it wouldn't, it wouldn't just ruin it. So yeah, that's really much all I have to say about that. But no, Amazon wouldn't ruin it because Prime makes it easier to watch games. So it's way better than having to pay for an expensive ass app just to watch. And be like, oh, it's going to make you pay too, though. Yeah, it's not going to be as expensive, though. And Amazon Prime's free, though, so it wouldn't make you pay. Like, Amazon Prime's free. But Amazon's got to do, like, everything, dude. They got Thursday Night Football, and they want to get, like, a similar feature for, like, Thursday Night for, like, NBA games, similar to, like, Thursday Night Football. Maybe have those games on Tuesday or Thursday, so, yeah. Uh, breaking. We had some breaking news about an hour ago. Steven Adams. Uh, for the Memphis Grizzlies, we had a medical update. Uh, he's out for the rest of the season, so he's not going to play this year. Um, the Memphis Grizzlies today provided a, the following update. Grizzlies center Stephen Adams wondered of season-ending surgery on his right posterior cru cru cruciate ligament after non-operative rehabilitation did not resolve ongoing knee instability. Adams is expected to make a full recovery ahead of next season. Man, injuries suck. But now not having Steven Adams, the Grizzlies are going to struggle to rebound the basketball. They, they really will struggle to rebound uh, the basketball. Is Jaron Jackson not good, uh, that good of a rebounder? Um, and really the best rebounder they had is Steven Adams, and now he's out for the rest of the season. I think the Grizzlies will struggle this year. So hopefully he can get better. But really, I uh, hope it gets, gets better soon, because Steven Adams, Steven Adams is a nice guy. So KCP, um, playing the Lakers in the playoffs last season, Sirius XM uh, NBA said, quote, we had to give them that butt whipping. <laughs> and I'm um, playing the Lakers in the playoffs in the uh, last season. And I'm people are like, oh, he's a role player. He didn't do anything. Uh, he, had, he had 15 points per game on 45% three-point shooting while guarding the team's best opposing guard. So, he played pretty good in that series last year. Lakers fans are just going to be salty and mad. But that doesn't surprise me. It's Lakers fans. Um, but, yeah. So LeBron James talked about his trash talkers. Quote, there will be a time when everybody will get it. What does he mean he will get it? 
And maybe, I don't know, get what exactly? Like, what does he mean by that? I mean, maybe the people who slandered him or whatever, I don't know. Tyler Hero quote, I thought I was out of here. I damn near had to have my shit packed up. He probably thought he was getting traded. Maybe they should have traded him, but he's one of the best young guards they have, so. Uh, maybe they didn't have, maybe they just didn't want to trade him to get an old guard. Uh, the highest paid players in 2023 according to at Forbes. LeBron James with 117.6 million. Seth Curry with 101.9 million. Uh, about 951 um, 51.9 million on the court and 50 million like off the court. This is uh, on the court and off the court. Uh, Kevin Durant 91.4 million. Giannis 85.6 million. Damian Lord 63.6 million. Clay Thompson 61.2 million. Joel Embiid 57.6 million. James Harden also with 56.7 million. Jimmy Butler with 55.2 million. Paul George <coughs> rounds it out with 54.6 million. I know people in the comments are like, oh, Clay Thompson in 2023, or, oh, he he doesn't deserve that. I'm like, yeah, you not see him last season before uh, the playoffs? He, he usually, he's usually a good playoff for him. Everybody has a bad playoff run. He, he was late in the regular season last year. But I feel like Clay Thompson's now turned into the most disrespected player. People don't respect him enough. Uh, to be honest. So Russell Westbrook uh, moves closer to his aim of being a billionaire, according to the latest estimates. Man, and y'all already been him getting a ring. Like, this shit just does his job getting him to be a billionaire. But I'm probably sure he doesn't care what other people on the internet think. Yeah, see, that's all from the um, NBA Central. Uh, San Antonio Spurs center Zach Collins has agreed on a two-year, $35 million contract extension. Mark Bar Bartlestein, a priority sports, tells ESPN. Uh, excuse me, I'm a, prof a professional. Priority sports tells ESPN the deal secures Collins for the 2025-2026 season. Kind of an overpay. I mean, actually, I don't know if it's an overpay. But he's getting paid 17.5 annually to be Wimby's bodyguard. But I'm not really going to say it's an overpay, to be honest. I mean, it's solid, I guess. I mean, it's, but 35 million, though? I, I don't know. Um, free agent, free agent four, Nathan Wright. Nathan Knight is signing a two-way deal with the Boston Celtics. Okay, who is a shit? A uh, oh, woj. As expected, the Sacramento Kings are picking up the third-year option on forward Kagan Murray and fourth-year on guards David Mitchell and Chris Duarte, sources say it. They got a good young roster, no cap. W's all around there for uh, Sacramento. Uh, the Denver Nuggets forward slash center Zeke Naji has agreed on a four-year, $32 million contract. Adam Pensack of Pensack Sports tells ESPN the deal includes a player option. I think it's a pretty solid deal. I know people are like, ooh, it's, it's over, it's an overpay, uh, will tell me. It's an overpay, Landon. I swear, people don't follow contracts and will just look, oh, but look, that's $32 million, but yet they won't look per year of what it is. It's $8 million a year for a rotation player. The 180th highest player in the league. And in two years, it'll be 250th. I swear, people don't pay attention to fucking contracts. I swear, Lakers fans hate math and, lo and, uh, be and logistics. He's, it's not. He's 22 years old. NBA, and I hate to break it to people, NBA contracts now are much more than they were a few years ago. I hate to break it to you guys, to you people that say this is an overpay. Like he's a 6'9", 6'10", moved his feet, literally like a guard on defense, and can stretch the floor. 
I mean, kind of inconsistently, but he can he can shoot the corner three, and people are like, oh, he doesn't he, oh, he does he doesn't sell like he's worth thirty two million. Thirty two million is not that much today's landscape. I don't know why people don't get that, but yeah. That's really have to say for this video. So until next time, a lot. Peace.